to me as an animator, uh, I really feel like an actor, even though we work with a pencil, we don't uh, put ourselves in front of the uh, screen, but um, it really is acting. People ask me sometimes, oh, you have to do all these drawings and aren't you getting bored? And it really, we don't think about drawing, we think about acting. He basically says, idiots, I will be king. I'm trying to figure out who this character is and what he's going through emotionally at this point. And of course, I work for a director. We've got um, the voice, you know, Jeremy Irons does his part. But then I come in and I really put a performance on the screen. Precisely. And for a character like Scar, it is an animal. So you have to bring animal qualities, a real lion walk and how a lion moves and their mannerisms. Plus, uh, you have to humanize that and have uh, real facial expressions that a, that a human has. So it's a funny combination of things. It's different than animating a human character. And I've had experience with humans mostly, you know, even though I've done characters like Roger Rabbit or, or Mickey Mouse, but they are human characters. They walk on two legs and they add the actions and uh, acting is very humanized. This was supposed to be different. These were real lions who walk with lion weight and have lion mannerisms. And yet you still are supposed to portray a humanized personality. And uh, I remember thinking, oh my God, you don't have hands to work with. Hands are so important to express a character's emotions. They say so much. And you don't have that with these characters, so what do you do? Um, well, you concentrate much more on the overall body attitude. You know, it's the character sad or is it, is it suspicious? And also the, the angle of the head, the face, you know, says something. I'm surrounded by idiots. To me, a villain always only works if he's also interesting. Uh, that's more tough. You can have him beat people around and have him call people names and that sort of thing and just show him doing evil things, but he has to be an interesting person, an interesting character. So that's what you're really working at, is like, who is this guy? You know, how does he feel about himself and the other characters? What are his likes and dislikes? What he would have for breakfast? You're trying to come up with a very whole personality. You build mannerisms. Uh, you, you know, you really, it's much more beyond than what you see on the screen in the way we analyze the character. So I always thought that a, a villain should be very, very interesting. You're so weird. You have no idea.